Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dungeon 3D actual play, where it's me, the builder, and we got Miri. Yay! Yay! The dev. The dev. <laughs> she made the thing. I did make the thing. She did make the thing. You know what I did? Not that. No, but everybody thinks that I made it. But you've been using it, playing it, and testing it. And also, to be fair, it, it would not be remotely close to the state it's in if it wasn't for the amount of feedback we've gotten. But everybody thinks that I made it. And I want everybody to know right now that I didn't make it. I would say the community made it. She coded it. I pro I guess, and I also made all the things in it. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. <laughs> but uh, when we last left off our glorious uh, adventuring party of Renford, the Spurf Neblin, uh, Garfeld, the uh, Efreet, Efreet um, whose name needs to be fixed here. It's the spider. <laughs> and Miri, the human, human warrior lady. Uh, she was in a cave and they got trapped in the cave from a cave-in. And there was a bunch of spiders and an enter cap, and her pals got captured. And Miri took her big sword, and she was she was on the ropes. Yeah. But she came out on top. Barely. Really, really sure how she came out on top, but she did it. She was wasn't she like reduced to like one health. She point. had one health. I believe she had one health left. Yeah. When the, when she faced the the uh, enter cap. When she had when she fought the enter cap, she had one health left. She survived because he basically got a nat one and hurt himself. <laughs> and he managed to get away. Oh, gosh. Sorry, I wanted to do that. She managed to get away. Um, I like the lighting. And heal herself and fight, and she rescued her friends. And now her friends are cl and her are going deeper into the underfen. Um, also, real quick, I wanted to show you guys. You guys might have noticed that there's some stuff falling. There are now weather effects. It rains. Hail is yeah. Also, also um, no. There is also snow. Also, uh, the stalagmite pieces. Um, if you rotate them and then raise them up, you can totally make stalactites. That's the joy of being able to manipulate the objects in the game. Big brain time. All right. That's actually pretty cool. So after everybody gathers themselves and. Uh, you know, celebrates Miri's victory. Miri got that cool sword last time. Um, Where are all these little dudes everywhere? Are these Smurf Neblins? Yeah, it's the Smurf Neblin village. Oh my god, they're so cute. So at one point, when you guys continue down the 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 path, Renford says, you know, I'm real sorry about that. That path normally isn't dangerous. That's, you know, that's the, that's essentially the village's back door, not to be crass or anything. I wonder what, uh, I wonder what happened to cause it to be like that. I don't know. It was, it was crazy. We usually get we usually use that cave to. We're gonna have to dig it out now. Oops. Well, you know what, Renford? I'm just really happy that you're okay and that you and Garfield weren't eaten because that would make me really sad. So. Yeah, it would make me really sad too because I'd be. And you're you're hidden. you guys are great, and I'm just so happy to have you. And I really appreciate you taking the time to guide us here. It's really kind of you. You're a good guy. I appreciate you, Renford. He wipes a tear. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Garfeld nods the small one. Yes. He is good. <laughs> oh my god. Garfeld guy. reminds me of Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> oh my god, I can totally see that. All Does right. that make Renford the little um Renford is rocket? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Renford kind of points down a, um, a, a path, and he reaches into his belt, and he pulls out a, uh, uh, uh what's called a tinder twig. Okay. At least I think that's what they're called. Either way, it's this little stick that he snaps at once, it's kind of like a glow stick. Yeah. Uh, and he snaps it once, and it starts to emit this light. It's straight up a glow, glow stick. Yeah, and he yeah. hands it up to Miri, and he says, Big guy over there and I can see just fine in the dark. I think you can, anyway. Well, thank yeah. you. I but you can't, so there you go. You're so considerate. I really thank you. She'll, she'll take it and walk with it. You're like my mom. Oh, I don't know. I feel about I, I'm only, like, you know, how old I am, which is what? <laughs> she's, she's a young human. She's in her 20s, probably early 20s. In her 20s, though? Yeah, I'd say early 20s. 
you know. Oh my god, she's an anime protagonist. No, she's a she's an early PlayStation's era anime protagonist. Like literally every main every character player character. But she's is. she's got she's got cool hair. She's got a big sword. She's got a ponytail. Yeah, she's she's okay. So she's an early Final Fantasy PlayStation era. Protagonist. No, they are way more elaborate looking. Like, <laughs> like Lulu's dress, her belt dress. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna end up in a whole oh, well, other. Her, her ch- ch- chesticles are are definitely not going to be big enough to fit for that. <laughs> they need to at least be the size of her head. <laughs> They're getting away, so she's very oh. normal proportions. <laughs> so Redford points down the path, and he says, "Just a little ways down this way uh, is uh, is an outpost. It's not my actual village. It's just an outpost that we have." And. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna head there and see if we can get maybe a way out. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that seems like a great idea. Well, I'm fine down here, but I imagine you guys are gonna want to head on to Radagast, Rad, yeah. Rajasthan. Right, right, Rajasthan. The city's name I forgot. Rakakistan. Rakakistan. <laughs> that place. <laughs> yeah, we're heading to that one place that starts with an R. Great. Okay, it's exciting. Um, we need to watch our own videos. We need to watch our own videos. This is what happens when you don't record for an entire week. Yeah, sorry if we're a day late. We had uh, a bunch of stuff going on. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, um, he takes you down and there's this winding kind of corkscrew path uh, that ends up going further down into the underfen. Um, and then at the bottom of this corkscrew path, this cavern opens up into this huge open monolithic cavern um and uh for those of you out there uh you might be asking well why is there rain in a cavern there are structures in the real world that are so huge they have weather inside of these yeah structures. there are actual structures like this that have been found underground that even have the equivalent of, of essentially like like forests growing in them yeah that's it's a thing yeah um they're like m- moss and Sure. Yeah, I don't know what the details are. Google it. <laughs> Google, you Google, you Google. It's a thing. But uh, it it is it is basically like that. Um, there are these huge clusters of these like multicolored mushrooms. Like um, for those of you that have ever played World of Warcraft, like uh, Zanger Marsh, like old school Zanger Marsh, or BG those... three hundred. Then. Or if you've played Baldur's Gate 3, which I haven't which really yet. I'm a huge fan of. I have not had a chance to play it a whole lot yet. I have. I've um, played a lot. I've played over 100 hours. Yeah. I've stuck. I'm I doing other stuff. It. But uh, just these huge, yeah, basically like the the Underdark from Baldur's Gate 3 with these large um, kind of mushroom structures, uh, these just walls of moss uh, where the light is coming through through little tiny cracks like bioluminescence uh, kind of yeah with these bioluminescent cracks in the ceiling uh there's like this fungus along the ceiling and there's little areas where there's something that looks like a tree might have taken root there and was consumed by things more native to this kind of landscape mycology yeah mycology da, 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 da. Um, and it's just a beautiful ecosystem down here, and it is, does appear to be, uh, <laughs> pardon me, there does appear to be, like, a, a light rain that is coming through the area, um, and it just sort of permeates the area. It's not foul. There's, like, a water source above the cavern. What's that? There's a water source above the cavern. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's not foul by any means. I mean, you're still underground, uh, which isn't ideal, but like, there's no like rot or anything like that. It doesn't, you know, that's, I mean, that's how wells basically filter water through the earth. Right. So, I mean, yeah. it's probably very clean water. Yeah. And there's this huge, huge, massive stalagmite that has fallen over that bridges this chasm um, that looks like the stalagmite's been there for centuries. It's basically rooted to this spot. It's completely secure. It's not going anywhere. Okay. Uh, and it kind of approaches this downward slope and crosses this chasm. And off in the distance, you see a, a little a little collection of what looks to be five huts and tents and whatnot. And little, little, little dudes going around doing their thing. And there's a little campfire in the middle of it. 
and uh, Renford kind of tugs on his robe or his clothes and he just smiles and he says, See, I told you I'd get you somewhere safe. Come on! And she will happily follow him across. He trots along the little stalagmite and gets to the village and Garfeld goes along with her and... And they enter the village of... of name. They enter the village of... Snarflat. You just made that up, didn't you? Yes, I did. Snarflat? Snarflat. Snarflat village is beautiful. Snarflat outpost. It's Snarflat outpost. So, so it's not a true village. Yeah, it's not a true it's small. Yes, he, Renford says it is not a true village. It's just only an outpost. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode of D3D, guys. Um, check out our other stuff. Check out our shorts. Check out our builds. Um, our showcases. Our showcases, where we talk about all the new features. Join our, our Discord. Join the Discord. Um, I would tell you to go back to Discord, back to Kickstarter, but the Kickstarter got funded, and we are waiting two weeks for Kickstarter to give us our money. We have a week left, right? We have a week left for Kickstarter to give us our money so that we can purchase the Steam license. Yep. And then the D3D will be available to the masses via early access. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time on D3D. Da-da-da! <laughs>